Shabbat Shalom. Two Jews, three opinions. We all know the old joke. Two Jews, three opinions. It's funny because it's true. But why is it true? Why do we Jews hold so many different opinions on things, and even multiple opinions on the same issue? Maybe it has to do with how things happen at Mount Sinai. The first words of the Aseret Hadibro, the Ten Commandments, which we read the Shabbat, are Anochi Hashem Elohecha, I am the Lord your God. Nothing strange there, except the fact that there were thousands of Israelites there, yet God spoke as if speaking to an individual, not a group. God did not say, Anochi Hashem Elohechem, I am the Lord, your in the plural God, but rather, Anochi Hashem Elohecha, I am the Lord, your in the singular God. Rabbi Abraham Yahushua Heschel from Op taught that this was because God spoke to each person individually, according to their ability to understand, at their level, so that each person could bear the awesomeness of a revelation of God's glory. And if each person heard it individually, and each person heard it at their own level, then it's reasonable to think that they understood it individually, and in a different way. Thus the multiplicity of opinions within the Jewish community, and even within each Jew. But when we responded to God's words, we responded as a group, not as individuals. Na'asev nishma, we will do and we will understand, the Israelites said together. We may hear things as individuals, but we try to understand them as a community. We argue, discuss, and debate until we can come to an agreement. Two Jews, three opinions, one plan. Look forward to seeing you the Shabbat at TRZ, Friday night early at 6 p.m. and Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Shabbat Shalom.